Paul here, and today we are going to take some notes on the muscular system. And the muscular system is a lot like the skeletal system in the name, as in you kind of know what it is as soon as you hear it. With the skeletal system, you knew it was a skeleton. With the muscular system, it sounds like muscles, and that is exactly what it is. The main job of the muscular system is to help you move. Your muscles work with your bones to allow your body to move. And the way that it does, the way that muscles help you move when they contract and relax. Now I think you know the word relax, it's when you're nice and relaxed. The word contract is kind of like when your muscle is flexed. If you take your arm and you flex the muscle and you, you can feel it, your muscle is contracted. And when you stop flexing and you poke at it, it's not as hard, that muscle is relaxed. going to talk about some different types of muscles here. There are skeletal muscles. And skeletal muscles are muscles that work with bones. So these muscles here work with bones to help you move. Some fancy artistic skills there. Maybe you can draw a bone that's a little bit better than that one. Got skeletal muscles, muscles that work with bones. Then there are smooth muscles. And smooth muscles are those muscles like your esophagus is a smooth muscle. And also your intestines have smooth muscles that move that food through your digestive system. So we'll draw some intestines. Start right here, got the small intestine. And then the large intestine wraps around, and we'll put a little label there. Because that's kind of tough to tell what that is if you just look at it. You've got your skeletal muscles, your smooth muscles, and then your cardiac. And cardiac muscles are the muscles in your heart. And most of our muscles, or at least the muscles that we think of, are muscles that we can control. And muscles that we can control are called voluntary. It's kind of got that base of volunteer in there. So voluntary muscles, we can control. And you might be thinking, well, I have muscles that I can't control? What are you talking about? And we do. Well, We'll get to those in just a second. So those muscles in your arm, I'm gonna try real hard to draw the arm muscle. Got a little hand there, boom. Okay, those muscles in your arm, or muscles in your legs, the muscles in your neck, Mouth, you can control those muscles in your mouth, even though sometimes it's, at least for me, it's hard to control those muscles in your mouth and you just keep talking. So you got voluntary muscles, muscles you can control, and honestly, probably the muscles that you think of when you think of muscles. But there are involuntary muscles. I want you to circle in that prefix there meaning not. So if voluntary means you can control, involuntary, involuntary means you can not control. You might be wondering, well, what, how, what can I not control? Well, if we have cardiac muscles, you can't control those muscles. Those muscles your heart muscles are going to keep pumping as long as they can. You've got no control over whether your heart continues to beat 
or stops beating you. You can't control that. Also, your diaphragm, you can't control that. That breathing, you can't control whether or not you breathe. Now, you can sit there and you can hold your breath, but eventually you're going <gasps> to, you're going to take a breath. And also, this one's going to be, I don't know, whenever I say this one, it makes me kind of think about it a little bit too much. But you also can't control those muscles in your eye for blinking. You're going to blink without thinking about it. That is involuntary. Now, you can make yourself blink or keep yourself from blinking. Again, that's just like breathing for a short period of time. But eventually, you're going to blink and you can't control it. These are the notes on the muscular system.